a farming community. Right. That's why the birds are here. Neighbors say the bald eagles are part of their Piney Neck community. This farm out here, back here, they, 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 they hustle between here. They go to these large trees. Paul Whelan has kept a close watch on the bald eagles since he moved in 20 years ago. And, uh, but he's doing? not crying foul play. I don't think anybody's doing it. I think they're eating something that's been on the ground. And I'm not blaming it on the farmers, but something that is being put out there, uh, they're eating. Neighbors down the road shocked by the news. That many bald eagles were just dead, and there weren't any other animals dead. It was just the bald eagles. So Josh Erb owns a landscaping company. He says he knows what gets put into the ground and says it wouldn't kill an eagle. Uh, farmers, I mean, and, and landscapers, I mean, we all you know, use products that treat for weeds and it's not supposed to harm harm animals and for a particular bird to somehow, you know, just uh, die like that, I, I would think there was some other circumstances. Residents speculate what happened to their neighbors in the sky. Denrec and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services conduct a thorough investigation. And hopefully we'll we'll get to the bottom of this and know whether this was something that was uh, caused naturally or, or man had a hand in it. Four bald eagles in total have passed, but two additional remain under care at the Tri-State Bird Rescue in Newark. I'm Allie Rosen, WRDE, Delmarva's own NBC station.